Today I made an adapter to adapt my lawnmower chute to my wood chipper. I made it out of leftover metal that I cut out from my vents. I'll, I'll proceed to show you basically how I did it, or I've got a certain amount of footage anyway. All right, my friends, I'm toying with some idea about a stove pipe for a chute, but it ain't quite big enough. I haven't given up on using a piece of that stove pipe though. What you're looking at here, my friends, is a recognized redneck form of measurement. Well, I don't know if that's big enough piece of metal or not, but I hate to waste not whatnot. We got these two pieces of metal I cut out of the bottom of that trailer. It's pretty heavy duty. Wish I had four pieces. I just weld four pieces together to make my extension. I got some thinner stuff over here that I could probably tack weld or put on with some sheet metal screws. If I make a top and bottom. Well, I got nothing but time on my hands. Let's do a little heating and beating. See what we can come up with. Or try something that sounded or seemed so dumb it might actually work. Here's the first piece I cut out of that vent metal. I just wish I had more of this metal. I got some thin stuff there. I can bolt that right on there. And I got this width up here set the same as that discharge sheet. I didn't need too much of a length to get extended, so maybe that would give me enough. I need to build another one for around here, shaped a little bit different, and then put some sides on it. I could just weld it if I had a little bit thicker metal. The other stuff's a little thin. But I got nothing but time on my hands. Let's keep tinkering here and see what we can come up with. I gotta grind the other one down and try to shape it. Alright, I marked off my second piece of metal. I got four inches here and about six and three quarters here. I don't have a metal bender, but I got a piece of railroad drill here and a hammer. Not to be exact, just in the ballpark. You know what? That's close enough for railroad work. Alright, let's be on the other side. It's a little narrower than before. But we got 
a hammer. We can hammer in the morning. We can hammer in the evening. All over this place. Let's go see if we can make this conform to the to the discharge chute. I'm gonna put an angle on this one out that way. We gotta come up with some sides for this. I wish I had enough of this metal. Well, it don't look like no machine work, but I've got this, I've made an adapter bigger on this end than that end. This end should fit on my chipper and this end should be in shit. Well, I haven't finished the last welding on this side but it should fit right in that plastic chute. I'm sure hoping it does because oh, this has been guesswork. We'll get it in there if I had to hammer it in there. I'm going to go ahead and weld this last side. Not the greatest weld in the world, but I'm able to tack weld it enough to where I don't think it'll come apart. You want to go in the garage? Yeah. Can I get in there or no? Yeah. All right, viewers, to give you a little laugh here, looking at my welding. I have succeeded in building an adapter. It's four inches on that width, six and a half on this width to adapt to my plastic lawnmower chute and serve as an extension. Might not get me quite as high as I wanted to get, but I'd made use of the metal that was left over where I cut out the vents. And believe me, I can hide a multitude of ugly welding under some duct tape. I'm gonna Put a couple of cheap metal screws. It won't be permanent. I want to be able to take it off at any time. Didn't take much to hold it there. One there, one down the bottom, or to be sufficient. That's going to get me up, providing I can get it on this plastic chute. I haven't even checked it yet. We'll get it on there if we have to heat the plastic. That's going to get me up to where's my tape measure? About 32 inches and the top of that tailgate is around 30 inches on a chip trailer. That's going to work out just fine. A sheet metal worker I ain't. I, mean, I sure may do a, that metal I had on there. What's the worst it could do? Come apart? If it does, I'll put some sheet metal screws in it. Look real pretty with some red paint on there, wasn't it? Well, we just throw some paint on there and see how it looks. You know what? We're going to throw some paint on this booger bear. You're going to see this booger bear but me and half the people on YouTube. Pain ain't shook up good enough yet. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good painted red. Providing my wheel don't vibrate apart. If the wheel breaks from vibration, I'll have to put sheet metal screws in here to hold it together. 
or a whole lot of duct tape. I don't remember what I bought this red paint for, but I know what I used it on. It's getting real low on red paint. I better save it for touch up after I put all my screws in there. When I get done, that chip shoot's gonna look like it was made for that Troy built. Yeah, <laughs> made by a clown. Alright, thanks for watching my video, my friends.